Joining us live how now to talk about today's tragedy, we asked Congressman Morgan McGarvey, a Louisville native, of course, to, to join us. And uh, Morgan, you were in Washington this morning, and I know you just got back here quickly, and you went to UofL Hospital. You also know one of the victims in this, Tommy Elliott. Yeah, Tommy Elliott, he's been a friend for a long time. My wife worked with his wife, because this is Louisville, right? We call it Louisville Village. Um, I think that that's what hurts so much. This is a tight-knit community where you know, when somebody says, what school did you go to? We mean high school. And if you didn't know someone who was directly impacted in today's tragedy, you, you know someone who, who did know them. And it's um, to, to lose Tommy, everybody who, who, who knew him, he was a friend. He's been a friend for a long time. Uh, we just sat at their table at a dinner a couple of weeks ago. It, it's, it's unfathomable to think, um, I talked to his daughter, that, that they don't have their dad and he's not coming home tonight. We know that since you got off the plane, you've been very busy and you have a lot more to get to tonight, but you were able to make it to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And what was that like? Are there a lot of families there still? Yes, but it's, it is so somber. Uh, it's sad. You know, right now, people are waiting. They're waiting to hear how surgeries went. Um, the officer, uh, and, you know, let's, let's praise all of our first responders, but certainly the officer, he was on his fourth shift ever today when he ran into that gunfire. Uh, he, he got hit by what we think is an assault-style rifle, an AR-15, uh, and, and miraculously, and it's, it's, he's not out of the woods, but looks like he might survive, which, which is a miracle. So it, it, is a very, it is a very somber waiting feeling right now in, in, in the hospital. I know you're going to vigils tonight. Yeah. As, as we move forward into the next waning hours and the next days of the investigation and this tragedy, we're trying to wrap around it. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want people in Louisville to think about? How, how, how do we move forward in the face of the fact that so many real political questions are now being raised about gun control once again? Nashville, three weeks ago, has come home to Louisville. You know, first of all, I think we have to wrap our arms around each other. This is a tight-knit community. It's a community of faith. It's a community that does love each other. Let's stand with each other during this process. And then I hear some people right now saying, don't make it political. Fine, don't make it political but let's talk about the policies that we can and should put in place that will help curb gun violence in this country. Unfortunately, Louisville has added its name to the list of cities where this has happened. We know there are policies that work in other cities and other states and other countries in the world that we can enact, such as universal background checks, such as banning these assault style rifles. They are weapons of war. Um, let's talk about those conversations, but right now, let's lift each other up. Let's hug each other. Let's go to these vigils. Let's ask people, if you, let's check on your neighbors. See if they're okay, right? Because I think this is going to take a while for our community to bounce back from. What is your message to people as, as you head to those vigils tonight? I mean, it's hard to find the words. Um, what do you say to these families? I think you don't say much, you listen. I, I, I can't imagine how hard this is. This is hard. Uh, I think it's letting people know that we're there for them. It's letting people know that we care, that this has impacted us and we are there for them and we hurt for them and we, we pray for them and that, that they have people behind them during this unimaginable, uh, devastating and, and, and really grief-filled time. You were in Washington mm -hmm. when you got the news. I was. Could, were you just saying, I can't believe this, it's in my hometown, or another mass shooting in America? I was shocked. I, I'm, we've talked about this, I'm from here. I'm, I'm a native Louisvillian. I went to Manual High School. Uh, I've, I'm raising my family here. We didn't think it was going to happen here. Uh, and, and it was really heart-wrenching to not only hear that, but to not be here, to not to be able to immediately run and hug my friends. Uh, I said, I have a good friend who we lost in today's shooting, and, and Tommy Elliott. Um, because Louisville is such a close-knit community, you know, I, I got a call from someone who's such a good friend of ours. She was in our wedding. And she said, my friend can't get any word on her husband. Can you call and find out what's going on? And so I, I called, and uh, you know, unfortunately, his name was not on the list of, of victims who were at the hospital with survivable wounds. And, and he unfortunately did pass away. And so we're going to have to deal with that tragedy, too, as he leaves home, you know, behind a wife and, and small children. Um, th th it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. And, and 
you know, I'm glad we were able to get home and help here. I've talked to Secretary Mayorkas, the Secretary of Homeland Security. They are sending counselors and resources to Louisville. Uh, we've requested that and they're going to send those here. I've talked to the Vice President today. Um, they are aware of this and, and we are trying to make sure that any aid the federal government can provide, any help they can provide, will be here. But it's going to be up to us as Louisvillians to wrap our arms around each other and try and lift each other up too. Do you think the President should come to Louisville? You know, I think that anything that helps lift grief for people is a good thing. Um, you know, and so yeah, I would love to see the president, the vice president, um, someone come here. I think we will have a presence from the administration felt here because this is, this is tragic. Uh, the day after Easter, um, as you know, we prepare to show off Louisville to the world with the upcoming Derby celebrations. This is the focal point. Um, it's it's just it's senseless. It's tragic. There's things we can and should do. We'll deal with those in the coming days, and let's lift each other up now. Congressman McGarvey, thank you for coming in, and sorry for your personal loss thank today. You. Tommy Eli, so you. well known. We appreciate your time, and uh, I know you'll be at those vigils tonight, as you said, listening. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Thank you very much, sir.